This isn't too shabby a way to spend Bank Holiday Monday, is it? Where are we going today? We're, We're out in the van today, aren't we, Al? Aye. Aye. Let's put some water in the petrol. 1940s events, there it is. Oh, it's into the van. The super van. Right. Okay, we're in the RV. Where are we going, Al? Uh, Standon House. Standon House. National Trust? National Trust. Near East Grinstead. Right. 33 degrees today. Bring it on. Even as a National Trust member, I've never actually heard of this place. I'm not quite sure why, or rather embarrassed by that, but uh, we're going to go and have a look around. Al's been here before. This kitchen garden. Okay, we're going to go in the house tour first, have a look around there, see what's going on. Oh, wow, yeah. There you go. You've got quite a few people there. Oh, the house, I know. gorgeous house. So the um, house isn't open until what, 11 o'clock, so we're going to go and grab a coffee quickly, see what's going on. So it's time for tea. Tea. And latte. Tea and latte. <laughs> That's really interesting. Unfortunately, we can't film in there. We were told we can't film, but we can take photos. And I did ask, well, why can't we film? Because, well, some people don't like being on camera. I thought, well, they won't know, will they? And you'll be on camera if you're in, or if you take, take a photo. Photos anyway. And how do you know it's where it's going to be online? So it's a bit of a weird rule. But yeah. hey, you know, they're the rules, they're the rules. Shot of the house from the back, you can see. Such a mishmash of styles. There's a barn that's medieval, they were telling us earlier on. And then the house was built sort of as an annex and it sort of expanded since then. This is interesting, they're uh, restoring this old farm track, which they say is an ancient route. Now it could be an old drove road. Um, could be an ancient trackway from Neolithic times, um, but they're restoring it and all the way down. It actually goes right through sort of the side of the house, so that's interesting. I do like restoring old roots. Our beautiful apple tree was over 120 years old. Sadly, old age and bad weather has caused this damage. The outdoor teams are working to save the tree if possible while making the area safe. Oh. Okay, we can head on somewhere else. We're not quite sure where yet, so that will be a surprise. Very hot. Oh, a very bit bumpy here, guys, as we leave uh, Stanton House. Hey. It's all right, I'm waiting for them. That's got me wet all day. Yeah. What is this village called? This is Forest Road. I've always wanted, I love this town. You pass through it. We're in the Ashdown Forest. I'll have a quick. View, amazing view, which I just saw you. Do you remember we made the film out there? Yes, we did, yes, that's right. Oh, I know where I'm Oh, yeah, we shot uh, Tales of Albion. Go out there and have that. Okay, we just stopped by the van. I'm going to quickly show you the view because it's pretty spectacular. Wow. We say thank you to Mr. Piddington for stopping for two seconds so we can quickly take that photo. Thank you, Mr. Piddington. <laughs> That's kind, sir. <laughs> okay, we're not going to go and see a Roman road. <laughs> we're sort of just walking around, <laughs> driving around the Ashdown Forest. We're, we're going to get in the end yeah. of the carton. 
we're going to go and visit the priest house which is part of Sussex Past's properties. We did a paranormal investigation there back in 2010 I think it was. It's one of our episodes, I'll link it below. That's if we get there. So we're going to go now and have a look at that and have a little look around the little village of West Hoveley. Okay, we've arrived in West Hoveley. I haven't been here for, oh God, nine years. So uh, <laughs> we have a little walk around, have a quick drink in the pub, the Cat Inn, and then see if we can get over into the priest's house. We'll have a look around to the church as well. And uh, what a lovely day. Let's do this. Very old village. It's in 28. So we're just in the Cat's Inn. Cheers. And after that, we'll go look around the churchyard and um, hopefully the priest's house. Okay, Al and I just had some nice refreshments in the pub in the Cat's Inn. Is it 40, say 1400s? Originally built? 1400s. Yeah, 1400s. Yeah. So we'll have a quick look in the church of uh, St Margaret's Church and Churchyard. Let's have a quick look and then we'll go over to the priest's house. <laughs> Now of course you know me, I've got to go on about a door because I love small doors. Here's another one, another little small door. I seem to be obsessed with doors, ancient doors. I think the smallest one was in Rye. Oh god, the one in the uh, village? Yeah. yeah, yeah, just by the church. Look at the size of the door, here's Al, right? Who's, you know, six foot, what, how are you, five, eight, six foot? Uh, six foot. Six foot, and look at the size of the door. Doors are. Unbelievable. Also, we, we know that you know people are short about them, but yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, like we found in the churchyard the other day, gravestones right up to the base of the yew tree. Very interesting. This is amazing. The um, graves go all the way down, all the way down there. It's a big churchyard for such a small village, actually. It's something we've never seen before, um, probably as we, there are around, but we've just not been very observant, is metal greystones. Can you see that? Metal greystones. There's a couple in this uh, graveyard. I'm sure there's in other graveyards. If you have seen them, please let me know, but uh, I've never seen them before, so. An old shop. Windows. That looks like that. Yeah. There was a Norman church here in 1090, so it's been here like eight, 900 years. It's a very old church. It's a very old um, uh, area around here though, isn't it? Yeah. Made in 1180. 1180. I'm going to quickly show you this. This. I'll get down. 13th century casket. And they now make tea on it. Okay, this is nice. I just found something quite interesting. Uh, if you can see this here. Um, Agnes, eldest daughter to Richard Infield of Grave. Ty Gent to Henry Falconer Esquire, aged 39 years and six months, buried September the 23rd, 1635. This is the doll. 1626. This doll here? 1626. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 1626. Shut the door. That's an old door, guys. Old door. Manor House. So here we are at the priest house. Haven't been here since 2010 and uh, go and have a look.
of life, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 600, 600 years, wow. Yeah, Gosh. getting on for now, yeah. Yeah, so... A place like this hasn't got something in this copy. Where would it? Yeah. Because someone lives on site here all the time, uh, the chaps has told me it's really interesting. There's been continuous oper occupation on this house, in this house, since 1480. Check that out. <laughs> Okay, we'll look upstairs. Very, very uneven floor here. Being a medieval house, and all this is 1500s, 15th century, and it's a uh, oh, we did a really good vigil up here. You know, I'll pop in a few clips from that episode now. I think she just said that you know she looks older, but I've just been told she's six. You'll get the clock definitely, but that I mean, you'll that be definitely audible. That you'd be able to I actually am getting an impression of a woman coming in around us as well now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't it's you get like, a woman once before though? When you yeah, were, yeah, when we were here before, got a woman downstairs, yeah. yeah. It's very, um, and please, isn't it? Yes. Same period. Yeah. And um, it's a wooden hall house. So, it was an interesting vigil here. Yeah. Nothing much happened that night, I've got to admit, but, yeah. It was quite cold as well. Okay, let's go in the next room. Quite windows to the back and front to low, aren't they? Yeah. It's lovely, it's a very small place, but um, very much in tune, Al was saying, very much in tune with how Anne of Cleves is being a Wilden Hall house uh, of the 1500s. But because um, the Wilden iron industry was very prominent around this area for many hundreds of years. We're just reading about Matthew Hopkins, a witch finder general. Uh, it's been estimated that of all the English witch trials between the early 15th and early 18th centuries, it resulted in fewer than 500 executions for witchcraft. Uh, in the 14th month period, between 1644 and 1646, Matthew Hopkins, in his self-appointed role of witch finder general, great movie with Vincent Price and Ian Ogilvy, uh, is believed to have been responsible for the deaths of 300 women. So wow. he was a serial killer? He was a serial killer, yeah, because self-appointed, you know. Amazing. These guys probably people were, were most of the time just completely innocent or they were just healers, you know. That was a lovely walk around the priest house. Nice chat with the uh, curator. We're talking about uh, witches, witches marks on um, fireplaces. It's not witches coming down the yeah. fireplace. Very interesting that was. So it's only been become re sort of interested by people in the last sort of, 25 years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks guys. We come to the end of today's trip. We went to Standon House, yep. National Trust property, which I'd never been to before. I uh, didn't even know about it actually, but don't tell anyone. Um, and then went down to the Ashland Hot Forest, to, driving through there, and here to West Hoathley, where we went into the priest's house and looked around the church, which was fantastic. I uh, hope you enjoyed it on this gloriously hot day. Um, if you've liked what you've seen, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and down below. And we'll see you next time. Be seeing you.